President Biden hosted a state dinner last night with Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida as the guest of honor. Plenty of other big names also there invited to share the red carpet as well. Ed O'Keefe is at the White House in the aftermath of all of this glamour and diplomacy. Ed, good morning. Tony, good morning. It must have been that our invites got lost. But look, the White House put on a show for Japanese Prime Minister Kishida last night with special musical guest Paul Simon performing, also in attendance. Hollywood A-listers like Robert De Niro, tech CEOs Jeff Bezos and Tim Cook, and former President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. The dinner capped a day of meetings designed to reinforce the U.S.-Japan relationship, particularly on intelligence and military matters, including a new joint air defense system with Australia. It's in response to growing Chinese aggression across the Indo-Pacific. And that focus continues today with a first-of-its-kind three-way summit between President Biden and the leaders of Japan and the Philippines. Japanese Prime Minister Kishida also plans to address Congress today. He earned commitments from President Biden that a Japanese astronaut will be the first non-American to set foot on the moon when the U.S. returns there in the coming years. And the prime minister brought 250 cherry tree saplings to replenish this city's iconic supply of blossoms. The new trees will replace ones being removed to make repairs along the tidal basin, including this guy, Stumpy, a beloved run to the litter set for removal. But Gail, he is a local favorite. Yeah, Stumpy's very cute. Those cherry trees are really gorgeous. Thank you, Ed, very much.